Hey guys, and welcome to Tron 2.0. Yeah, that didn't take forever to set up. Oh god. Anyway, we are going to be playing this game again. Except this time, hopefully, completing it. A new game. We're going to play on normal. Because that's plenty difficult enough. And yeah, looking forward to this. Now, you'll notice like black bars on the sides on these screens. Those will go away once we're in the game because I'm using the killer app mod, which makes the game widescreen, as you will see. So this cutscene, which I can't hide myself for because Please. <sighs> gotta get back to my routing. Nothing works I'm already right. behind on my deliveries this cycle. You have privileges I require. I'm just a simple email script. I I know what you are, and I know what you'll become. Is the volume balanced good, by the way, Aaron? Tell me, what is your function? I serve Thorn, my master user. Meanwhile, in the real world. Chet, do you think your dad would mind if I had some of his popcorn? Huh? Oh, sure, have all you want. It's good? Okay, thank you. Yeah? I'm a little surprised you turned down the level 6 programming position. Look, Dad, I know you're disappointed. Damn right I'm disappointed. I pulled a lot of strings to get you that offer. I'm happy making games. Life is short, Pop. I plan to enjoy it. <sighs> you sound like Flynn. Hold on, son. Mathria, run a security diagnostic. Yes, Alan One. Results. A virus has entered the system via email. Lab drives one, two, and four infected. Jet, we'll have to continue this conversation later. This is a restricted area. You just can't come barging in here. Dad? Get your hands off me. Dad, do you hear me? Mathria, where's my father? Alan 2, I require immediate assistance. What do you mean? Contingency protocol activated. Laser activity in five seconds. Mathria, stop what you're doing. Put on goggles. Clear digitizing bay. So yeah, this game is meant to be a direct sequel to the original Tron movie. This is before they made the Tron Legacy movie and other games. This game was storyline wise meant to, to be a, a sequel um, and it's pretty cool, it actually is. Um, there are some, uh, some recognizable voices in there like for example, um, the main character's dad there is, of course, voiced by Bruce Boxleitner, who, of course, played the character in the original movie and um, actually in the sequel as well. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool, uh, it's a pretty cool thing, I think. Um, this game has a lot of interesting. Uh, yeah, there we go, Bruce Boxleitner, Rebecca Romaine Stamos before she dumped John Stamos. Um, <laughs> anyway, this, this game has a lot of cool elements, it, um, I'll, sh I'll you know, I'll show you here shortly, uh, but the, the gameplay is, is very action oriented, there's platforming, there's elements of RPG, uh, there's even the light cycle racing at certain points, so, pretty neat. To me, this game is very what underrated. What did you do? So and, you uh, are a user. Yeah. Fascinating. All right. So, basic training. I am going to skip. I'm not going to use the gold cheat, even though that would be fun. Um, yeah, I'm going to skip basic training, and we're going to. I'll show you the combat training, though. Basic training is just like 
what button to press to activate things and press space to jump and things like that. But uh, I will do the combat training one. Uh, I guess we'll talk to you first. You'll pick up your disc, face it, and press the action key. Good. And so we get this, which is our first and main weapon. I'm going to continue combat training. But as you can see, we can throw it. Now, if it hits something and ricochets, it can go a long ways off. Which is can be good or bad. You can also block with it. They're going to explain this though. So. Good. Now before we get started, use the patch routines to restore your health and energy to full capacity. Okay. Activate the health program when ready to start the combat training. We'll do. So energy is used to use certain weapons and also to activate things. And of course your health is well your health, so that goes without saying. Tell me about using the disc. It's good practice to save your progress before entering into combat situations. Please do that now. Step yeah. onto the battle ring when ready. Alright, press F5. And a quick save has happened. Just out of curiosity of something. Um I press this. It still doesn't work, never mind. <laughs> I was just curious if it randomly started working. It did. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna step out here. To throw the disc, click and release the left mouse button. To recall the disc, click the right mouse button. To steer the disc in mid-flight, click and hold the left mouse button. Moving the mouse will influence the path of the disc. To use the disc as a melee weapon, Click the left mouse button while holding down the control key. To block an incoming enemy disc, press the right mouse button. Practice using the disc against this combat training program. So that's one thing I didn't actually even remember, which is nice to, to know, is uh, right clicking calls it back quicker. That's good to know. All right, I'm trying to get a, a block here if I can. Guy's a real bad shot. Hey, buddy. Could you maybe hit me? Maybe try hitting me. I want to get it to. <laughs> You're bad at your job, man. There we go. So then his goes off and he has a hard time getting it back, which gives us time to hit him a few times. Oh, he actually hit me. But now he's dead. When a program is de-rezzed, a core dump containing energy, health, and quite often permissions and subroutines is left behind. If you wish to continue practicing, Activate the switch to res in another combat training program. Enter the data stream when finished. Yeah, we'll do. So yeah, that, that little sort of, I guess you'd say, soul that was left behind, you can absorb that to get health or energy. Um, but also you can get information and permissions. Now, there are going to be certain like doors or things we need to activate and it'll say we need certain permissions now if you look it's kind of hard to see right now but right between the 100 and the 95 there at the bottom of the screen it's really there's no angle i can get because the disc is kind of in the way but um you'll see there's little notches there that represent the different permissions that you have there's eight of them and so far we've got like two, three, and seven, I believe is what we have. So as you go along, you gain and lose permissions in different situations, and that allows you to open doors and what have you. But uh, let's get on to the action here. Oh no, the corruption has reached this sector. Follow me to the exit user. Oh, I got hit, dang it. I gotta get used to the, the rhythm of this again. Okay. Anything in there? No. Quick poke around. Another thing I love about this game is the art style. Oh, frick me. No. Okay. Sorry about that. 
stupid song thing was still up in the corner, my bad. Anyway, one thing I really like about this game is the art style. Uh, because I was a big fan of the original Tron movie, and even the sequel. Um, and I've always loved the art style. So. Alright, so... Bite is opening this up for us. Probably gonna have company. I will in a second. I'm sure there's nobody else over here. There's also a lot of times hidden secrets and stuff, which we'll come across as we go. Actually, there's some over there, but we got something we got to deal with. Where are we going? Okay, we'll be going that way. <clears throat> Before we do that, we can come over here. There's health here if we need it, which we don't currently. But you'll notice that there are these boxes, and inside these boxes can be permissions and emails which have information. So, I'm going to put down a quick save, and you'll see me quick save a lot in this game, because we're going to die probably a lot, so you're going to have to be ready with that uh, good old emote there. But, um, yeah, it's really easy to over jump these things. So you gotta be real careful, and of course falling is death. So we're gonna search this one first, and there's an email. And it takes five energy to open this, so this is what I was saying, using the energy to activate things. But uh, yeah, basically, this is the thing talking about the virus, etc. Not absolutely necessary to have, but it is a thing. You need a death counter for your streams too. Yeah, you do. All right, du, 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 du. we're going to problem, yeah, okay. So not super interesting, but I will do my best to get all of the information boxes as we go, as long as it's feasible to do so. All right, so let's uh, move forward here. We're gonna open this up and we're gonna be able to talk to Something's gone this hard guy. Wrong. Rami failed to transmit a data packet to my user. He must have been corrupted. He was so young. So many cycles left. Okay. So we have this right here, which is a build note. And we have two build points, which basically you can use these to level up Jet, which is our character's name, by the way. Um, and, uh... Yeah, that's something that we'll get into once we have more of that and it's time for that, but let's be careful around here. I have a feeling that there's going to be trouble. The only way out is up through here. Well, I can't get up there. In the next sector there is an archive bin that contains a subroutine that will enable you to jump higher. Okay. Way, user. Now will you go over there? I'm gonna hit this real quick. Put my energy back up around for anything special all right do, 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 do. we're gonna run over here yeah leveling up is cool because there are certain things you can Locate choose um, you have to kind of think ahead like what you want and then as you get more weapons available to you you can uh, upgrade their uh, attributes and things as well all right, there's there's bad dudes around here if I recall Or not. Another build note. Can I grab this without falling? Probably not. Let's do it from here. Greetings, program. My name is Rami. Please free me. I have an important package. Okay. Boop, boo. Interesting. Yeah, so Rami wants us to help him out. We're also gonna get permission number eight from here. Which is nice. Okay, so there's going to be bad dudes, but they're not going to appear until after we help Rami, if I recall. Jump back up here. Is this way blocked? Can't remember. No, it's not. This is the way we actually help him. Before we do, let's quickly just look here. Really don't consider this getting distracted. This is me clearing the area first. It's 
It's me being cautious. And so we're gonna deactivate the bridge. Drop all that junk, and then yeah. Thanks, program. You're welcome, Rami. But there's going to be problems shortly, I feel. Because I've played this before a couple of times, and I remember. But there's something going to happen. Right? I'm not crazy. Or maybe I am. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. It's, I discovered that. Okay, uh, there's things I need to get up there, but we need to be able to jump higher to get to them, which is part of the reason we're in here. Okay, so now we've got those build points. Ha, ah, here we are. So this is the alpha subroutine for YAMP, which is our jumping ability. Subroutines augment a program's base abilities when loaded into system memory. To load a subroutine, press the F1 key to bring up the menu and right click on the subroutine in the outer ring. With the YAMP loaded, your jump height is greater. Yeah, I got that guy. Oh, come on. He should not have been able to get there that fast. What the frick, man? They're so good. Stop being so good. Oh, that ricochet was amazing. Holy crap. All right. So now we can look at this. And if we look, which one is it under? No. Um, there it is. Okay, so, excuse me. Excuse me? How dare you? <sighs> what is happening? There. All right, so it takes up three, sp three spots, which these can get expanded later, but this is when you start having to get picky and choosy, but we need the jump boost. Yeah, it's not a good sign, is it? Well, I could have played on easy, but I'm going to hope that normal's going to work out okay for us. Anyway, so now we have the ability to jump higher. I'm just going to up my health and energy here. I'm going to put down a quick save, and then I'm going to see... Um, hmm... Jump onto the ledge leading to the exit. Well, yeah, I know that, but I thought now I'd be able to jump up here. Why can't I? Oh, wait, I'm supposed to do it from here, right? Because I know there's a reason for this. I can't jump up. What? Why do I remember this differently? Because there's, like, stuff up here. Oh, from the... Oh, okay. Can I get it? Yeah, I can. Okay. I just had to hop on the orbs. I didn't remember that, but okay. Also, we already had seven, so I sort of just wasted that energy. I should have thought about that. But, so that's another thing. You don't have to select everything you see in there. If it's something you already have, you can skip it. But I'm dumb, so. What else is new? I guess there's nothing up here then. Okay, whatever. Overthinking things as per usual. Now, the enemy's drops do go away, so I'm pretty sure I lost out on whatever those guys would have had up here. Yeah. So that's too bad, but eh, I'm sure it wasn't that important. Um, so where do I do my level up now? I don't really remember. Oh, where the frick did you come from? Well, I got I got a corrupted block. Oh, my brand new subroutine. That's good. Totally didn't need that to, to not be corrupted or anything. Okay. Hey dude, what's up? Thanks, program. I was afraid my subroutines were going to become infected. Mine did. Follow me to the exit. Oh, well, before we do that, now we have to fix this. You see, this is infected now. And I think in order to... Uh, 
Yeah, we have to put it in the disinfect, which means we aren't going to have use of it until it tells us that it's done. Which is really freaking annoying, but you know. Okay, I'm full on energy. Uh, we actually got another one though, so I might as well look at that real quick. Oh, it's a bad block, so we, this needs to be defragmented, so we might as well have that going as well, but it's the profiler ability which allows us to see our enemy's HP, which is useful. Oh wait, did I not pick it up? Okay, YM, YAMP was disinfected. So we're good there. Okay, I apparently didn't pick that up. So what the frick did I get over here that's being defragged? Well, who knows? Anyway, this is back now, so that's good. Where's this other thing at? Oh. Memory block. This is being really funky. There we go. Well, that needs to be disinfected, so we'll do that. But now we can jump up here. Um, jump up here. <laughs> Okay, I made it by it. Uh, profiler, I already have that. So we're just gonna open the email instead of wasting 25 energy, open something we already have. Uh, copy the words, say whatever. A lot of this is just nonsense we don't really need to worry about. All right, so we're gonna be going in there, but I kinda wanna wait for this thing to get done. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna grab this and I guess pop it in there. And so now we'll see the name and health of the target. Cool. Okay. Up scene time again. Okay, so the bad guys are on our trail. Not good. So what are you exactly? A bit? A bit. Ha! I'm a bite. But Freya wouldn't send a simple bit to do a bite's job. Let me tell you, mister. Shh. Okay. Careful around here. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Optimizer. Alright, so the optimizer lets you upgrade one of the subroutines you already have, which can be useful. And I assume we're going to want first thing to upgrade our jump. But, yeah, yeah, I think that makes the most sense. So, let me grab this, pop it in there, and now you can see it takes up one less spot and our base jump height is now up to 30%. But since it takes up one less spot, I can actually move it to this over here. Now we have another three spot. Of, actually, I'm just going to move this one here. And now we have six open slots over there. You do not have the proper permission set to enter the power stream control sector. Follow me. I imagine so, dude. It definitely made a big difference for me when I did that. And uh, yeah, maybe you won't have the issues that you typically have, huh? All right. So maybe I'm remembering wrong about the leveling up process in this game. Maybe I'm crazy. Wouldn't be the first time. All right, so you see this. This is um, a uh, sector reser. And the bad guys will come over here, press a button, and it'll bring more bad guys to the spot. Now, as you can see, we're in a new place. So that little circle in between our health and energy, it's no longer lit up at all. So each new sector has new permissions. We don't have any permissions, so... If we did, we could disable this so they can't call for reinforcements. As it is, we're just going to have to make sure we kill anybody that comes near one of these things or 
we're going to have to deal with a whole bunch more of them. Oh, this is uh, an email from Jet's dad. <laughs> wow. So he definitely was pushing for Jet to take the next step with his career. But, you know, that's a parent's job, I suppose. All right, let's be careful here. There's definitely going to be dudes right there. No. All right. Oh, dang it. My aim. My aim. Okay, we got him. If he had run up here and hit this button, though, we would have had a lot more of them to deal with, which would not be fun. Okay. Mm. Ah. Dear old dad trying to get Jed his job without it being problematic. Okay, so I can step into here. There's a subsystem that runs beneath the main level. Look down there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm hmm. So I can't probably get to that, huh? That's probably a bit further than I can jump. You probably want me to to uh, go in here. Yeah. Okay. Um. So now I'm stuck down here. Oh, you just wanted me to see where I was going to end up or something? Okay. Seems like a bad idea to jump for this, though. Is there really no other way? Okay. Oh, we made it. Um... this other one I stream at um, 30 38 3900 oh crap I should have thought this through oh crap okay let's not get ourselves killed we almost did actually Got him. Okay. Are there permissions there? No. That's fame, actually. Build no dough. We definitely want that. I can't interact with this stuff. We'll want to make sure we get over here and hit, grab this. Okay. No permissions, that's fine. Yeah, I stream at 3,900. It's probably more than most people would recommend. Um, but I do it because I just want it to be as good quality as possible. Ooh. Got fuzzy signature and permission one. Our first permission for this sector and fuzzy signature, which I believe is um it makes us stealthier is that what it is uh-huh yeah movement sound is reduced so we'll equip that for now why not let's see we got anything else no we're good okay well that was a nice little find and we can open this up and now we can pop back out up here the yeah. corruption is spreading. We must keep moving. Okay. I'm low on health. That's for sure. Can't remember if there was some health up here, but I hope so. Probably going to be enemies here now. I had to guess. Maybe not. Apparently not. Okay. And we have one of the three we need for that, but not everything we need. Oh. Uh oh. 
Hi. The source of the corruption. Now this is unexpected. These programs believe you are the source of the corruption. <laughs> That's rather funny. Actually, come, oh, you are really. not safe here. We must find the server's exit port. I don't want them to think I'm the bad guy. Oh gosh. Grab this stuff quick. Okay. We almost died right there. Not gonna lie. We definitely almost died. <laughs> Oh. Hey. Can you tell me how to get to the exit port? The exit port is located beyond the power stream, but getting across is impossible. The auto exec is broken. You'll need to cycle the power stream manually. Don't get mm. too close to the power streams. Yo, but how about some health, though? 